to take the Canadian citizenship oath, you need to take this course where you learn about the explorers who came and all those kinds of things. But do we ever pause and, and think through the things that those explorers did in practice? It's, it's so important for, for all Canadians to understand this true history. But until the general Canadian population gets there, there will always be, in my opinion, a certain element of disconnect between what politicians seek to achieve and the support that those politicians receive from the general Canadian public. So I'm glad that we're at least, that the um, Canadian political sphere is at least using words like reconciliation, is at least acknowledging, yes, residential schools take pl took place, we're not trying to pretend they didn't happen anymore, are recognizing that our languages are dying, are recognizing that our people have, um, have accumulated generations of trauma that's woven into our very DNA. I'm glad that we're there. I'm glad that we're talking about it but it needs to move beyond politicians. It need, teachers and schools who are raising next generations of children need to understand this. Government employees who haven't had the opportunity to learn about these things uh, need to have opportunities so that they can understand the way that their job, their nine to five every day, is in some way linked to Indigenous oppression. People need the opportunity to work through those things, not in a place of shame, but in a place of acknowledgement that this is where we came from and this is where we're going. And each of us have a choice every day. If we choose to acknowledge those histories and place that as the lens throughout which we live our lives, I personally believe that Canada can look better in the span of a generation. But it's that individual work that people need to do. And it's tough work. It's not, it's not easy. People don't want to feel shamed um, about the fact that Indigenous peoples were dispossessed of their lands. Like, that's lame, I get that that sucks. It sucks to have to hear that, you know, but it's the truth. Um, and uh, people just need to acknowledge where we've come from and take, not take it so personally sometimes, just live your life in a better way. Think about this important stuff, be a good person, treat people the way they wanna be treated. Um, and it's, it's not only people's individual work, it's also their responsibility to teach that to their children as well. Humans are stupid, like we're, dumb. We do crazy things to each other all the time. We hurt people that we love. We judge people based on the color of their skin. Like we do all kinds of wacky things. But that doesn't mean that there isn't always hope for a better world. It's just focusing on that hope can be really difficult when you're, you're climbing to the top of Mount Hope, but it's, it's slogging through pain and trauma to, to, to get there. It makes the day-to-day -day difficult while also recognizing that the life time achievement that you're seeking is, is also worthwhile. I, I had this really beautiful moment a couple years ago when I was at the ferry terminal of all places and there were these kids and they were playing explorer or whatever because there was this little boat kind of set up and so this one little kid was standing on the boat and there was another little kid who was kind of not on the boat and they were talking about the one little kid on the boat said okay, I'm going to be Explorer Captain Vancouver. This was in Vancouver. Um, and then he said to the other kid, and you're going to be the first peoples of the country of Canada. And it was so interesting because uh, it's kind of you know curious that they chose to play Explorer and the Discovered in the first place. But it was so beautiful to me that the kid knew, used the word first peoples. Like a, a five-year-old, right? So that to me showed that, uh, and I get there's a time and a place and um, you definitely need to tailor the information or the education being provided according to your audience. So when you're working with three to five-year-olds, right? Yes, there was an explorer named Captain Vancouver. Yes, there were First Peoples. Um, and the fact that the five-year-old was in the zone to think through those things was such a positive indication for me. Like here's a five-year-old who knows the word first peoples, it's a respectful word, knows the context in which to use it, understands that explorers engaged with first peoples and that something happened as a result. And even that really basic level of baseline knowledge creates such a strong foundation for that five-year-old to expand on his knowledge as he gets older and think through, okay, explorers came, first peoples were here. What does that mean? What does that mean for me as a Canadian? And so it was this, this moment where I, like, I almost had tears in my eyes when he went, you're the first peoples. Like it was just the cutest little thing I've ever seen. So, you know, we're marching towards the future.